Rashad said, man, you know what? He, he does have some talent. American Top Team, you know, is where I'm training it now. They have a lot of, a lot of professional guys there. All the holes that were in Kimbo's game, he's been working on with the American Top Team. For the first time in all my fights, you'll probably see Kimbo Slice as a mixed martial artist. This is going to be a real test for Kimbo and see if he belongs here in the UFC. <laughs> Houston Alexander has tremendous knockout power. You know, I would love to have a, a storybook ending and, and knocking Kimbo Slice in the first round. You want to talk about some power? Houston Alexander is for real. Some unknown artists to stop in two big names in the UFC in two fights. They're going to go out into the middle of the octagon and they're going to throw punches until somebody goes down. This is going to be a fight that Kimbo fans are going to want to see. The first opportunity I get, I'm definitely going to knock this joker out. Coming up next, Kimbo Slice takes on Houston Alexander. Our tale of the tape for this colossal collision. Kimbo 35, Houston 37, Kimbo Slice 6'2". Four pounds heavier, catchweight fight 215. Five inch reach advantage with our official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special cat trade fight consisting of three five-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of nine wins, four losses, and one no contest. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 208 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Houston, the assassin, Alexander! And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a brawler. He holds a professional record of three wins with one loss. Standing six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 212 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida. Kimbo Slice! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen. All right, guys, you've been over your instructions. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourselves at all times. Step back to your corners. Let's do this. No kidding. Let's do this. Man. You know what Kimbo said when asked about his opponent, Houston Alexander? He said, Houston, you're going to have a problem. Kimbo Slice. Tell me, you ready? Houston Alexander. Ready? Try it. Here we go. <laughs> Houston outside, Kimbo in the center. Interesting, Houston Alexander using his footwork and circling. Kimbo Slice, we saw on the show, is the a little bit worn out. And Houston Alexander told me a couple of days ago he's going to target with some leg kicks. And he looked for it right there. Going to try to chop down Kimbo early. Interesting seeing Houston circle like this. This is a first. I think, you know, maybe he thought that Kimbo probably expected him to come charging right at him. And so he's showing him some different looks. Houston Alexander said, I'm not a hater of Kimbo Slice. I've been where he is. I had to strengthen my game, become more versatile, and Kimbo has shown a commitment to do so. We've also said first punch might be the last punch of this fight. This is just getting weird now. This is like over a minute of just spinning around in a circle. Well, Kimbo will be very wise not to get drawn into throwing an ugly punch and walking into Houston, though. Sooner or later, they'll engage. Rosenthal push him. I thought the fight would have been over by now. <laughs> <laughs> we would have been through four replays from five different angles. You can see he wants to kick this Houston Alexander. Slice told on the show that he had some arthritis in that knee. And again, he's just trying to pepper the inside leg just a little bit, get his attention. He's got to be careful there that he doesn't run into a counter right hand when he does that, Mike. When he throws that kick, his head is straight up in the air. There it is again. Alexander is doing exactly what he told me he was going to do, Joe. This is the game plan. Kimbo saying, let's do this. Kimbo training an American top team. Omaha, Nebraska zone. Houston Alexander. 
Jimbo's starting to take a little bit of space away, Joe. That was a good one. Good and again. Leg kick there. Yep. The second one he pulled back. When he throws that kick, those hands better stay up. As you talked about, that chin better be tucked. Yeah, see how he's throwing that? Yeah, he's dropping absolutely. his hand. His head is straight up in the air. Kimbo hasn't thrown anything, though. I mean, we're three minutes into this fight. Kimbo hasn't thrown anything. That was a oh. good one. Here we go! Watch now the clean. fight's officially underway. Both men swinging. Working that front leg over and over again, though. Well, he's definitely sticking to his game plan. Throw an elbow when he comes in. Corner of Kimbo Slice. And again with that inside leg kick. Kimbo stuck around the house and he just absorbed all the great training throughout the competition. Member of Team Rampage. Eliminated early by Big Country who will fight in the heavyweight final later tonight. He used to one line when he told me what he was going to do, Joe. Feels like that leg may be a bit fragile. And he continues to work on it. He's throwing them all from the front leg, though, Mike. He's not mixing it up at all. There he goes. Yeah, he thought yep. about doing it with yep. the back leg. Yep. Throw the big chop on it. And ended it again. He's definitely softening up that leg. Yeah, you can see, look at even Kimbo's stance just a little bit not as wide now, Joe. He's not exposing that left leg as much. First round uneventful. Second round coming up. Push it through. 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 Push Step back, step back, step back. In the corner, Kimbo Slice asks Ricardo Laborier uh, about from American Top Team, what should I do? He asks Ricardo Laborio, what do I do to counter this? He said, watch the leg, don't throw your punches so straight. Set it up, start cutting the corner. Shorten the distance every time he circles. He's not doing it though, Mike. He's not cutting it off. He's just letting him circle. And that's what Ricardo talked about, and Joe. And Houston is not, that's not effective movement either. He's moving in the exact same way over and over and over again. I mean, he's just circling around him like a merry-go-round. Good, gentlemen, let's do this. Kimbo's getting frustrated now. that inside leg kick and now it goes to the outside but that's the one he really wants Joe Jimbo swinging a miss I've never seen Houston Alexander follow a strategy in a game plan so well well we, we saw what happened sorry Joe we saw what has happened when he hasn't yeah any strategy well, he's I mean but he's becoming boring and who would have ever thought not at all Everyone 
in talking about this fight since it has become official. Saying perfect opponent. Let's see if Houston does become the perfect opponent for Kimbo. And again, he's not going into the strength of Kimbo's game. I mean, if you're Kimbo, do you, do you take a chance? You start to really move forward, Joe? Nice jab by Kimbo. There's your answer. Now Kimbo's getting aggressive. Kimbo's got a hold of him. He's hitting for the takedown. Right into the full mount. Kimbo slice with the mount. And Houston powers out of it. Big right hand by Kimbo. And again, Houston sticking with his plan. These are slaps, though, Mike. He's not, he's not dolly slipped. He's leg kick. He's oh, he got wrapped. He slipped and Kimbo jumped right on it. Whoa. Nasty body shot. Alexander. The assassin. Kimbo is taking his back. Elbows Houston. Yep. He's taking his back. Take a lot of wind out of Alexander. To the top position again. Big shots. Big ground and pound by Kimbo. He's got his back. Trying to get the hooks in, Joe. Kimbo Slice has been working on his ground game, Mike. That is for sure. Ricardo Laborio and all the great trainers and fighters at ATT, American Top Team. Looking to finish it by submission. He's got it around the neck, Mike. He's got to get behind Kimbo, excuse me, behind Houston Moore if he wants to finish him. He's going to try and... He can try and hear him and wind up in Kimbo's guard. Now Kimbo's going to mount him. Kimbo is dominating. To start training with the American top team. He knew that he was going to get beat up day in, day out with some of the best fighters in the world there. But then it would only make him better. And you're seeing right now the fruits of his... Houston out the back door. But he's taking some shots, Mike. You can't stall anymore. You gotta let it go. All right, let the right hand go. Come on. Let's go. 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 Third and final round. Tell last round. Let's fight. Five minutes remains. Kimbo hurt Houston a couple of times in round number two. Round number two is all Kimbo slice, Mike. The mouse under the left eye of Alexander. And Kimbo showing a ground game, looking for submissions. Houston swinging. Alexander has one punch knockout power. We've seen that before. Here's what we thought would be the process early. Big jab. <laughs> oh. 
He looks very tired, Mike. His he's arms are swollen yep. up with blood. He might have a problem here. Now, they always talk about the jab being the most underutilized weapon in MMA. Kimbo's throwing that jab to finish fights. Good, gentlemen. Last round. Let's do this. I'm bleeding. You're bleeding. Let's put on a show. This is what we promised the world. And you want to talk about the power of the internet show. Kimbo shaking it off. He's yeah, his chin is throwing, it. absolutely. He's trying to find that chin. But he's, his arms are so tired at this point. Well, we saw what he did against Jardine. Right, but that was in the first round. Yep. You know, in this third round, I mean, he's such a muscular guy. All that blood's pumping through those muscles right now. Ah, Kimbo jawing at Houston to get it going. It's work, gentlemen, it's work. Under three now. I would have never thought we'd be seeing a third round, and I never would have thought we'd be seeing a third round with these guys just standing in front of each other like this. Alexander trying to duck under again, Joe. Oh, that's a good one. Huge kick. That's the one we talked about. That was a big shot, Mike. He went for that knee. That was the most powerful leg kick that he threw. No twist. Kimball's got him down. Half guard. of Alexander saying, all right, we've done it, we've gotten this far, now let's turn it up. But does Houston Alexander have anything left to do so? Gentlemen, Look, gentlemen. Houston Alexander is exhausted, Mike. He's trying to grab a hold of the foot of Kimbo Slice and possibly put him in an electric chair sweep, but he's just too tired. Huge shots to the midsection. Houston Alexander trying to work the head of Kimbo Slice. Step back, step back. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The fight let's go, might happen here in the last. Let's go, let's go. Deep breaths. Both men are very tired, Mike. And there's that leg kick again. One minute remains. Kimbo checked that one. He looks very awkward on that leg though, Mike. No question. Well, we knew it was damaged from watching him inside the Ultimate Fighter house. Look, gentlemen, last round. And Houston's throwing those kicks. They just don't have a lot of pep on him. The one that did is the one that put him down. And you could tell Slice was hurt. Again, he's working that front leg. Under 30 seconds remains. Kimmel just looked up at the clock. Here it comes. Both guys are so tired, Mike. Look how slow these punches are coming. Oh, big elbow oh, by Hughes. Got him. Right hand behind it. Final seconds of the fight. <laughs> wow. Perhaps shocking the MMA world, it goes the distance. And what a huge slam. I mean, this one almost finished the fight. Vicious ground and pound. So we are seeing the growth of a true mixed martial artist in Kimbo Slice. Houston Alexander with a huge kick. He stuck to his game plan, but was it enough? Let's find out. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 29 28, 29 28, and 30 27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Kimbo Slice! Not the way we thought it would occur. 
But you know what? I see a future. And I think the world does tonight in Kimbo Slice. Here's Joe. Congratulations, Kimbo. How good does it feel to get your first official victory here in the UFC? Thank God, man. <laughs> but it feels good. I'm sorry about that. We did our best, yo. Y'all got to give us credit. What I was most impressed with in this fight, Kimbo, was, was the evidence of your ground game and the improvement as a mixed martial artist. And you've got to take some satisfaction in that. Yeah, I want to thank ATT for everything, but I'm still working on it, you know? So long. Uh, I'm sure you are. It's not easy. Tell us about the, the experience of being in the house and then go, going from, you know, fighting for Elite XC to fighting in the UFC house and then finally getting a victory in the UFC right now. How you feeling? I feel good, you know, the house was a good experience. It was very mental than anything. Well, you did a tremendous job on the show. You did a tremendous job tonight. You got your first official UFC victory, and I can't wait to see you again. Thank you. Kimbo Slice, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe not the way the world thought it would happen, but maybe, more importantly, we're seeing a guy who really wants to dedicate himself to this sport. Very humble and victorious.